What is up guys? So I'm currently in Canada right now. I just got here about two hours ago. It's about a three hour drive from Seattle. I'm coming here because I'm leaving from Vancouver to go to Tokyo to film for a big event at a club and uh, with AVA recordings, if you're familiar with them. It's just like, a, I think a big organization of uh, a bunch of DJs that, like, that work together. I hope that makes any sense. Uh, he, he saw some of my work on social media and reached out to me. He's like, hey, can you come film one of our shows? I was like, sure, why not? And he, it was more of like the smaller shows, but he mentioned that one of his biggest shows is going to be in Japan. I'm like, why not go big and go for Japan? So that's why I'm here. I'm uh, leaving literally less than uh, 24 hours. I'm leaving tomorrow. It's going to be about a nine-hour flight. And I thought, why not just throw a little quick video for my, just for my GoPro. Um to show you what I brought in my camera bag to uh, use on this whole trip. So first of all, I got this backpack. It was a Case Logic. I don't remember. I don't know what model it is or whatever. But uh, I've taken this thing almost everywhere: Thailand, uh, Hawaii, Burning Man. There's a lot more little things I've done. Oh, and also my long road trip. Uh, this thing has not had one rip in it whatsoever. I've washed it multiple times because it's gotten a little bit dirty and just dry it out and it's fine. Um, the only really wear and tear is just like the bottom of this is kind of scratching off. But other than that, this thing is a beast. It's good quality. Um, one reason why I like it is because of the quality and then also on the inside. So most tech gear, everything, is black and it makes it hard to find things when the inside is black too but this is orange white bright orange so it makes it easier for like quick quick uh, when you try to look for something really quickly so let me give you an idea of what it looks like and then I'm gonna set this down and show you each piece individually so first of all I got my Sony a7s2 with a 24 to 70 millimeter G series uh, e-mount lens lens <laughs> Yeah, this thing is huge. It's kind of a lot of weight, but this lens is amazing. Uh, I've loved it ever since I bought it. It's pretty expensive. This whole setup is pretty expensive. Um, the Sony A7S II is a beast. I've had it for over a year now, and I there's no way like I love how small the body is itself. If you have a smaller lens, smaller lens, that would even be that would even be better. But the the video quality, the sensor on this is great. Um, that's the main reason why I got it, and also it does great pictures as well. If you see on my Instagram, other than the GoPro and drone shots, it's all been shot on my Sony. Yes, it is a little heavy. It is a little too big, but um, it doesn't bother me. You kind of get used to it. Next up is uh, I normally carry like maybe one or two lenses, but this one is mainly just this one. It's a 14 millimeter prime lens so you got to do like manual focus and manual aperture I have uh, the Sony a7s2 which is a full frame so the 14 millimeter is a true 14 millimeter I do like the, the GoPro shot like the fisheye the wide angle I always love those to add those in um, any kind of video project also I did buy an adapter for it because before I had the Canon T6i and that was a Canon mount and so these are all Canon mounts and I had to buy the adapter to fit on the Sony lens Sony uh, mount now I'm not a really big fan of this, but the reason why I have it is because it's so small. And so I take my other lens off and put this on there. How much room that saves and how much lighter it would be. My friend let me borrow this. Um, I'm not a fan of the the motorized zooms zoom lenses because they make that noise and sometimes you capture that sound inside um, your video your video sound. So. Um, I'm giving it a try. Uh, it's a, it's a, what is it, 16 to 50 millimeter. Um, yeah, the reason why I wanted it is because it's very small and lightweight. And I want to see if I could give it a go and see if I like it or not. And then if I do, I might get one myself. Next thing is, it's not really necessary, but I brought my uh, wireless mouse. Ever since I bought this thing, it's been a beast. Like everything works on it, like the, the back and forward page and then the scrolling up and down. Um, it's a really nice wireless mouse, Logitech. I don't know what brand it is, Anywhere MX. Been one of the best wireless mouses I've had. Next thing is, is uh, my DJI Mavic Pro remote. I do have a little um, piece on here that basically stops the joysticks from moving around or possibly be breaking off when they're in your bag and your bag's being jerked around a lot. So that's why I have this little clip on piece so it stops that from happening. Uh, under that is my charging cable for my laptop. Uh, I'll get to the laptop in a second, but the reason why I have this in here is I don't want it. In my, I don't want it in my check-in. 
Uh, reason for that is because sometimes there would be a situation where I would be using my laptop and the battery dies and I don't have my charging cable so it would be in my check-in and it would be somewhere in the airport. That's why I always want to carry this around in case I need to do some work and it takes a couple hours like say I'm sitting in the airport for a long time and that time I could use to edit something. So that's why I have that. I've got an SD card uh, case to keep my SD cards in. I do have the Mavic Pro drone itself. The reason I uh, got this was because it fits in my camera bag, <laughs> folds up. The folding idea was the reason I bought it. Uh, I downgraded from the Inspire 1. I, uh, the Inspire 1, if you don't know, is like a way bigger drone. It doesn't, it folds, the arms fold, but it doesn't fold to make a compact. But it was a really badass drone. I just didn't like having to carry a whole separate big case just to uh, get those aerial shots. So. Sold that one and I bought this guy and I've never been more happy. This thing has been to Thailand with me, to Maui. The only thing I uh, uh, don't like about it is, the one thing I noticed as soon as I started flying this is this is much smaller, much lighter. The wind can sometimes be a um, bad thing for this. Uh, if it's a little bit windy, this will kind of battle the wind sometimes. But in some situations, if you feel like you can do it, you can probably get the shot, but just be very cautious of like how you're flying the drone, not going full speed or anything like that. Um, that was definitely one of the downsides about this. But other than that, folds, fits in your, your camera bag. I've loved this thing ever since I got it. And I've gotten a lot of amazing shots with it. You can shoot 4K, you can take pictures. One of the things I like about it too is the, the portrait feature where you can shoot up and down because like Instagram, you can do the portrait, uh, the layout portrait and uh, sometimes I like those because it fills up the page when someone's scrolling by it and you'll be able to like see the picture a lot longer if that makes any sense. If you have Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. This has been one of the coolest drones I've had yet. DJI is supposed to be announcing something tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping it's like a version 2 with maybe a better camera and maybe like a better quality camera. I like the camera on this, but let me show you. The thing about this one is the camera is just so delicate. If you look really closely, just look like you got to be very careful, like even putting the filter on it and everything. I always feel like I'm surprised I haven't broken it yet, but let me put this back on. I'm hoping they announce like a number two. Maybe you can shoot 4K 60 frames. I don't know. But tomorrow, I'm going to try and watch the, the live. I think that's a live show or something like that. Um, the other thing I have in here is another. Um, Mavic Pro, so I have one on the drone itself and then another battery for the Mavic Pro. Reason for that is if I need more flight time or I have this USB piece that clips on here and use this as a power bank to charge whatever devices you need to charge. If you just recently watched one of my last videos, you saw that I got the GoPro Fusion. I haven't had a lot of practice on this yet still. Uh, it just I just haven't had the motivation. I just Nothing has hit me where I was like, oh, that'd be so cool on the Fusion. Yeah, I needed to really just leave the house, go to travel somewhere and be able to use this. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try while I'm in Tokyo, maybe walking on the streets or something like that, or just get some like some B-roll shots or something like that. I don't know, but um, this camera is amazing from what I've taken with it so far. It just wasn't worth like posting or anything like that. A 360 camera, take pictures, whatever, video, and. The main reason why I got it is for the over capture feature where it's not 360 video, it's actually a video like picking up the shot of that 360 video. So I'm not a fan of like the, the VR where you have to look around and say you're laying in bed and now's the time you could watch a video, like you're relaxing. You don't want to get up and have to move around or scroll with your finger. So the over capture feature is why I got the GoPro Fusion. Let's see what else we got. I think that's all we have in the main compartment. And then I got like a set of earbuds, ear, uh, earphones. And then the little compartment, which is right here, I got mainly my charging cables, all my batteries for the Sony, the GoPro itself, uh, even the little dock that I put the batteries on to charge for the Sony. Um, yeah, just little charging cables like the USB ports. And that's it for that. Then on the side, in the back is my uh, laptop. I basically, this thing, I switched from the, the GoPro, or not the GoPro, I switched from the 
MacBook Pro, I don't remember what year it was, I think it was like 2015, it was just getting too slow. Um, I started editing some 4K stuff and it was just being really slow, choppy, and I couldn't edit my workflow like just smoothly. It was all just like duh, 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 and then freeze for like five seconds and then it'll continue playing. So I got rid of that and my friend recommended this one because um, the processing speeds and all that. This game, this, this laptop is usually meant for like gamers, um, it's by Razer. They make gaming laptops and when I hear gaming, I hear good processing speeds and all that. So he recommended this one to me and the process, the processing speed is awesome. The exporting of videos is fast. It might make like a loud fan noise, but as long as the video exports fast, I have no problem. I've had no problem with it whatsoever. I do kind of miss the Apple software because I was always about the iTunes, downloading music, the apps and all that. I just wanted everything to sync together with the iPhone, iPod, MacBook, but um, switching to this Windows computer was a little tough to just getting used to, but um, I'm used to it now. I've had, I had no problems with it whatsoever. It's been fast. And then I bought an actual tra travel tripod, which is uh, by Manafrodo, I can't remember. <laughs> Um, in my check-in bag, that's because I don't need that in my, my um, it's not electronic, so I don't need that in my, my carry-on, because this is going to be my carry-on, I have stuff in my check-in, what do I have, my drone cable, or my drone battery cable in my check-in as well, because I don't need that, I don't worry about that until I get to Tokyo or whatever, I do have this light over here, it is a battery-powered LED light, um, I'm bringing that for the club in case I need to brighten up the uh, the scene that I'm filming it might be too dark I don't know how many lights are inside the place so I got to make sure I have good lighting other than that it's just close and that's all I have so yep tomorrow I leave for Japan and I hope you guys stick around for the adventure I think the next video after this would be how what my experience was like going across the border into Canada I wasn't sure because it was my first time going it was Pretty easy, all I needed was a passport, but he asked me a lot of questions, and I was like, oh god. I kind of wanted to show people what it's like if you haven't done it already, what it's like to go through the border, what you have, what you expect, and uh, same thing with cell phone. I know like some carriers don't allow, they charge extra to go across the border. Um, all that's in uh, the next video, so. <sighs> I've been talking a lot. I have a lot of energy. I'm excited to leave tomorrow. It's going to be so fun and hope you guys stick around and watch it. And let's do this.